Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. The NIV Study Bible, it could scarcely be understated the huge effect and impact that this has had on American Christianity, I would guess primarily, but probably around the world. This is the third revised edition. This will be the NIV Study Bible with the 2011 update on the inside. It would also be with the comfort print. But I guess the reason the NIV Study Bible was so huge is when the NIV translation came out in the, uh, you know, really the, the early 80s, maybe late 70s, it came out kind of piecemeal. That Then they came out with the Study Bible that really gave a sense of validity to the translation. Now, I personally have never cared much for the notes about it, but now for years, if you wanted a complete study Bible, this was what you got. Um, I used to make the suggestion for years um, that they do this in King James. They finally did. So the Zondervan King James Study Bible, at least used to be, used to be the notes of the NIV Study Bible put in the King James. I never care for the notes because I consider them a little liberal. That's just for me, my perspective, how I see things. You might think they're, uh, you know, conservative or something. And that is totally okay. But you'll quickly notice, I mean, some of the things of this, first of all, it's really easy to read still has the classic center column reference notes at the bottom I and mean, that's just classic study they're doing a lot of different things with study Bibles today but they've got full color maps and pictures scattered throughout which is a change so the comfort print is a change um, so it's got over 21,000 bottom of the page study notes so this would have been like what the ESV study Bible is today. Like, let me show you this major covenants. So even if like you're a King James person, if they don't make this in King James, like some of the notes you might really like. A lot of these charts, like major covenants. But we're just trying to promote the Bible in the world. So we're trying to uh, review every study Bible that's ever been made. I don't know. Unless the Lord changes that. Creation in the Bible, ancient Near East, that's good stuff. Has a little bit of ghosting in it. Um, and it could just be the hardback edition. Got this on sale. So we're going to look at like the introduction to Genesis. Before we start here, the five books of Moses. It looks like they've increased their introductions to me. I'm not sure if they have. At some point, I've done reviews on the old NIV study Bible, maybe a couple, maybe a personal size, maybe more than a couple, I don't remember. Regular, large print. You can get them really cheap on eBay. Usually, I say that they'll probably be a hundred dollars now. There's been so many times on eBay something's cheap, and I'll say, Well, I don't have the money really, and I'll get it later. You look two months later, and it's like multiplied times the price. Other times, you pay a premium, and then it becomes ubiquitous, it's everywhere. I may be flipping these pages a little too quick. Nine point print, which is excellent size print side for a study Bible and so this is what it looks like it is a slick it's not like corrugated we'll measure it here in just a little bit it looks about the same size as a life application study Bible the difference between this and a life application study Bible is um, this would be more theologically, historically oriented. A life application Bible would be, as it says, more Christian living oriented. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see if it lays flat in Genesis. It does, Smith's own, doesn't have decorative headbands, tailbands. One of the things it doesn't have too is it doesn't have a um, ribbon marker, which a lot of uh, 
Bibles, hardbacks now are coming with ribbon markers. It does have just amazing stuff. Let me just show you. I mean, I'll start in Malachi and then show you between the Testaments. It's absolutely fantastic. Just great. And then we'll check to see if it's red letter. We'll see if it's um, if the notes are about the same size as the print. I've done a video on how to use a center column reference Bible. If you don't know how to use a center column reference Bible, we just want Christian knowledge to be ubiquitous everywhere, and we want accurate Christian knowledge to be everywhere. So you can see, I mean, it's it's still, I mean, it keeps up with its its designation. I mean, it's just a fantastic study Bible. And again, like the ESV study Bible and the New King James study Bible have a ton of notes in them. This one is the NIV's version of that. I wonder if they'll come out with that NIV with the ESV study notes. They might have already. But I mean, this is all just between the Testaments in full color, New Testament chronology. I mean, just unreal. And then we get to the Gospels in the early church, the Synoptic Gospels. And the outlines look really good as well. It doesn't, yeah, it does. It does have top of the Bible headers and in text headers in it as well. The notes are not, I'm going to say the notes are about eight point, but they're very easy to read. We'll take you through the introduction of Matthew. Again, it does lay flat in uh, Genesis. Very well done binding. I didn't see what country it was printed in. If I had to guess, I would say China. And and I say this unfortunately, I mean, obviously, I, I'm like George Washington, I want everybody to be our friend for trade and everything, but uh, so much of the amazing printing today is done in China for so little. So, I mean, you can just see the introduction's just great. just all kind of stuff it is red letter I'll let you see the red letter phenomenal red letter the comfort print done by 2k Denmark man what an advancement in Bible printing it could be some of the best typefaces since Cambridge and Allen Bibles so this is the I think it's the third revised edition I don't see anywhere it says third it just says fully revised but they've done great stuff. Boy, this introduction to Acts, I like how it has a timeline. Oh, man. This is a great, well done Bible. Aerial view of Megiddo, the mountains of Megiddo. I remember, you know, we was raised kind of country. And uh, so we had always been taught nobody will know what Armageddon is until it happens. And I can remember studying, finding out it meant the mountains of Megiddo, Har Megiddo. And I'm telling my mom, my mom was real country, real country. And uh, dad may have been more country than mom, but she didn't believe me. She's like, nobody knows where Har Megiddo is. But it's just one of those things. So red letter. And we will measure this thing too. Just well done. Still got the blue. You know, the NIV study Bibles had that deep blue, so they kind of kept that. Um, excellent concordance. Actually, that's not the concordance, that is the index to the notes. And it's great print. The concordance, not so great print. I don't even think my little print size monitor goes, it only goes to six point print. 
Well, it maybe is. Okay, so this is probably six point, but it's computerized like a Holman print. Holman has great com uh, computerized print. So it's legible, but it's in no means large. <laughs> By no means is it large. And so just a, a good basic study Bible. Let's see if we can tell how many pages. We're already at 2,300, 2,400 pages. I'm going to see if we can tell how many pages the concordance is. It is, if I can open it, so it goes to index to maps, 2461, let's see how good our math is, and it starts at 2314, so that is 147 pages. Check my math, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> 47 pages. The maps, and the maps look like they're on the same size paper. Map 10, map 14. So it has 14 maps. Excellent maps. I'm wondering if Zondervan and Nelson are using the same maps now. because they're owned by the same company. Harper Collins. There's this meme that goes around that says, you know, uh, don't use NIV, it's published by Harper Collins who publishes the Satanic Bible. I'm just like, well, they, they bought Nelson too. I don't know what to make of that. There's really no page to write in the front. There's a presentation page, really nice presentation page. And there's only one page to write in the back. So they didn't make it to write in. Let's just say that. Let's do some measuring here. Probably not going to zoom in. Let's see how the... It looks like it is 0.375 inches on the side. Probably 0.425 inches in the gutter, but it's a pretty steep gutter. Um, so that's a quarter inch. Yeah, probably 0.375 top. Maybe the same towards the bottom. You know what? No. It may be 0.425 on the bottom and gutter. 0.375 side and top. That's where it's got nothing around at. And then it is, uh, it's a full nine and a half inches tall. Now, it's not overly big. It's not a thin line or anything like that. But it is not an overly big Bible. Really nine and a half inches. And it is by six and a half so just about exactly nine and a half by six and a half you really don't want any bigger than that i've noticed like a 10 by 7 even if it's thin just comes across real big to me and if i had to guess i'd say this is two inches thick and i guess totally wrong it is 2.25 inches thick so the NIV Study Bible, done a lot of videos on the NIV translation, comparisons with the King James. People always say you need to compare it with Hebrew and Greek. I'm like, yeah, well, I did some videos on why I compare with the King James. I say some videos, one primarily, but I mention it a lot. But be that as it may, this is uh, an excellent study Bible. Now, I did not go into the theological disposition um, I know the first one was, in my opinion, fairly liberal. But now, what's liberal then goes for arch conservatism now. Um, I was just going to see. It's got literary features. I was going to see if it had like any type of authorship, author, historical, Moses. Uh, 
do, do, do. So then Pentatonic four underlying sources. Okay, however, this view is not supported by conclusive evidence and intensive archeological and literary research has tended to undercut many of the arguments used to challenge mosaic authorship. High five, good job. Love Jesus. God bless you. Talk with you later. Amen.